Picture this, a mad as a hatter, full on ruckus. Smack in the middle, a fella, a mountain of a man, throwing around a sword that's the stuff of bedtime stories, that's our boy, Alexander the Great. His name echoes across the history books, his battles putting the modern in our modern world. But hold on to your hats folks, we're not here to gab about the big man himself, but instead the riddle of the ridiculously ridiculously cool sword he supposedly swung around. Just imagine the scene, dust doing the twist in the air, the ear blasting sound of metal on metal, and right in the middle of the chaos there's our guy Alex. Standing tall, his sword pointing skywards like he's trying to poke the clouds. This ain't your garden variety butter knife, no siree. It was said to have cut through opposition like butter, as much a part of Alex's mythical status as the big guy himself. But what's real scoop here? That's the brain buster we're gonna crack. You might be scratching your head thinking, what's the big deal about an old hunk of metal? But buckle up, this story isn't just about a sword, it's about piecing together the jigsaw of history. Digging into the cake layers of myth, myth, and getting a sneak peek into the world of one of history's most intriguing characters. The stories about Alex's sword are as diverse as a box of chocolates. Some say it was a godly DIY project, glowing like it had swallowed a star. Others reckon it was a product of wicked good craftsmanship, its edge keener than a fifth grader on a sugar high. But the million dollar question is, was it real? Historical scribbles, artsy doodles and some dusty old relics spin a tangled yarn, each thread adding another layer to the mystery. So, was this legendary sword as real as a slice of pizza, a solid symbol of Alex's power? Or was it just a tall tale, a love letter to the impressive conqueror, a symbol rather than a tangible tool? As we dive headfirst into this mystery, remember we're not just pulling apart a weapon, we're digging up a slice of history, a piece of the grand jigsaw that makes up Alex's story. But did this legendary chopper really exist, or is it just a fancy of our shared imagination? Let's find out together. Subtitles, yeah we got them. To understand the reality, we must first separate the historical accounts from the fictionalized stories about the sword. Let's delve into the annals of history. Alexander the Great, the Macedonian king, was known for his vast conquests. The chronicles of his era are replete with accounts of his military prowess, strategic acumen and relentless ambition. In terms of weaponry, our historical understanding suggests that the typical armaments of his time included the Sarissa, a long spear used by phalanx infantrymen and the Xiphos a short sword ideal for close combat. There's no explicit mention of a uniquely powerful sword wielded by Alexander himself in these accounts. Now, let's pivot to the realm of fiction and legend. Stories spun over centuries have painted a picture of a mythical sword, a weapon of unrivaled power, in the hands of Alexander. This sword, it is said, could cleave through enemy lines, its blade gleaming with an almost divine light. It's a captivating tale, isn't it? The sword becomes a symbol of Alexander's might, his indomitable spirit, his very essence. Yet, we must tread carefully here. The allure of these tales, their dramatic flair, can easily overshadow the hard facts. We must remember that over time, stories evolve, facts get embellished, and the line between reality and legend becomes increasingly blurred. The sword of Alexander the Great, as we know it from these tales, may well be a product of this narrative evolution. The question then arises, was there a legendary sword, or is it a creation of imaginative storytelling? Could it be a mix of both? A real weapon? Perhaps a Xiphos, that over time, through countless retellings and translations, was transformed into a mythical artifact in our collective consciousness. The line between fact and fiction seems blurred. So, what do the experts say? Let's find out in our next segment. Before we continue with our exploration, we have a quick request. Could you take a moment to support our channel? As we count down from 5 to 0, click the subscribe button below and join our community of history and mystery enthusiasts. Ready? Here we go. 5, 4, 
three, two, one, one. Subscribed yet? Excellent. Your support helps us delve deeper into fascinating mysteries like the one we're exploring today. Now let's return to the enigma of Alexander's legendary sword. Stay tuned because up next we hear from the experts. We sought out historians, archaeologists and weapons experts to shed some light on this legendary weapon. First, let's dive into the expert opinions. Historians suggest that the types of swords used during the era of Alexander the Great were primarily short, straight and double-edged, known as sephos. These swords were typically made from bronze or iron and were ideally suited for the close combat tactics used by Alexander's phalanx formations. The second is the artistic depictions of Alexander, a rich source of potential clues. From ancient mosaics to Renaissance paintings, Alexander is often portrayed wielding a sword that is remarkably consistent in design, a straight double-edged blade indicative of the sephos. Yet, some depictions stray from this norm, showcasing a sword with a more ornate hilt or a longer curved blady. While these could be artistic liberties, they also spark intriguing questions about the possible existence of a unique sword. Now, let's proceed to the fourth scene, where we consider what archaeology has to tell us. So far, no sword directly linked to Alexander the Great has been unearthed. However, numerous swords from his period have been found in Macedonian tombs and battlefields. These discoveries align with the historian's view of a Xiphos being the prevalent sword type. But without a direct link to Alexander, the question remains. Did he possess a sword that was distinct from those of his soldiers? In the last scene, weapons experts chime in. They argue that the practicalities of war in Alexander's time would have favoured function over form. A beautifully ornate, mythical sword might have been more of a hindrance than a help on the battlefield. Yet, as a symbol of power and authority, a unique weapon could have held significant value. The experts have had their say, but what do you think? Are we looking at a historical reality, a myth born from the fog of time, or a blend of both? The mystery of Alexander the Great's sword continues to captivate us, inviting further exploration and debate. Now, we turn to you, our viewers. What are your thoughts on Alexander's legendary sword? It's time to put on your detective hats and join in on the quest. Do you believe in the existence of this mythical weapon? As we move into scene 5, let's take a moment to ponder this question. The sword of Alexander the Great, a weapon of such grandeur it's said to have out an empire. Is it a historical artifact waiting to be discovered or simply a figment of our collective imaginations? Theories abound, some steeped in historical research, others in pure speculation, each more intriguing than the last. Let's delve into a few of these fascinating conjectures. One theory suggests that the sword was not a sword at all, but a metaphor for Alexander's sharp wit and strategic prowess. Quite a poetic interpretation, don't you think? Another popular idea is that the sword carried an inscription, a secret message that only Alexander could decipher. Could this be the key to understanding his unparalleled success on the then there's the theory that the sword was not of this world, but a gift from the gods, a divine weapon imbued with supernatural powers? A tantalizing thought, to be sure. Now, it's your turn. Do you have your own theories or perhaps some lesser known historical references about Alexander's legendary sword? We encourage you to share them. After all, history is not just about the past. It's about the ongoing dialogue between then and now. Perhaps your insights could shine a new light on this ancient mystery. Could you be the one to finally unmask the enigma of Alexander's sword? So join the conversation. Share your thoughts, your theories, your historical nuggets. Be part of this journey of discovery, this quest to unveil the truth behind one of history's most enduring legends. Your insights and theories add to this ongoing investigation. Join us as we continue to delve into the enigma that is Alexander the Great's legendary sword. The mystery of Alexander the Great's legendary sword continues to captivate us. The intrigue surrounding its existence and nature is as potent today as it was centuries ago, 
a testament to the enduring allure of this piece of history. Or should we say, this piece of myth? Yes, the debate rages on. Many scholars, historians, and ardent history enthusiasts have spent countless hours poring over ancient texts, examining historical depictions, and even conducting excavations in the sixth scene. Yet the sword, much like the enigmatic conqueror who supposedly wielded it, remains elusive. Is it a mere figment of our collective imagination, spurred by the dramatic tales of Alexander's conquests? Or does it lie hidden somewhere waiting to be unearthed? The truth is, we may never know, but that doesn't mean we should stop looking, stop questioning. The quest for knowledge, after all, thrives in the face of uncertainty. It's what drives us to explore the unexplored, to seek answers to questions that have remained unanswered for millennia. The importance of further research and exploration cannot be overstated. Every new investigation, every reinterpretation of the old, brings us one step closer to understanding the enigma of Alexander's sword. It's a journey that goes beyond the realm of academic curiosity. It's about piecing together our past, about understanding the beliefs, the stories, the legends that have shaped civilizations. So, your part in this, well, the baton of exploration now passes to you. As we wrap up this discussion in Scene 6, we invite you to continue it, read up on the subject, engage in debates, formulate your theories, who knows? You might stumble upon a perspective that changes everything. As we delve deeper into the past, the legend of Alexander's sword lives on. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep the mystery alive.